Hi guys. Imagine that. It is a gray, gloomy, drizzly, ugly day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Finger Lakes of New York, where I learned yesterday, I guess, we are having five times the normal precipitation uh, for July. What is it? So this is now, I think we're at Wednesday, July 21st, 2021, somewhere around there. And, uh... So guys, I was going to make today's Chronicle of the Collapse, and I guess I will still do this, uh, but I was going to do a full bore uh, rant, tipping my hat to the mainstream media, to Yahoo News, particularly the LA Times, yes, the Los Angeles Times, beginning to sound more and more like Collapse Chronicles in Bright Green Lies with this article, <clears throat> this very well done, in-depth reporting called California's Electric Car Revolution Designed to Save the Planet Unleashes a Toll on It, meaning a toll on the planet. and. Um, so as I say, this is a long involved article, but, but as I got to it, I said, haven't I been through this recently? And I remember I just did a rant uh, two or three days ago, uh, a, a very similar rant, you know, from Andrew Friedman talk, you know, talking about the same thing. But hallelujah, we have the mainstream media finally uh, letting the clueless morons know that electric vehicles are a joke. I, I mean, if, if for saving the planet, electric vehicles are a joke. Uh, while no one has ever said this, this is the latest example of comparing a carbon footprint to an environmental footprint. Just... One more story is more and more people figure out that the cost of reducing the carbon footprint portion of the total ecological footprint, all it does is every bit of savings on one, on the big toe of the carbon footprint just gets moved to the heel. And there very well could be that electric vehicles, which is what they're talking about in this case, although you could say the same for wind turbines, solar panels, all that other crap, all that other clean, green energy, save the planet, greenwashing crap. When you look at the entire picture, the entire ecological footprint, the hit to the planet that the, the, this clean green technology could very well be worse for the planet. The cure could be worse than the disease. Or at the very least, it's an even trade. Okay? There, it, it makes no difference. You cannot... That, that saying that I've never completely understood, which I guess is apropos here, you cannot have your planet and eat it too. You can't have a planet that you're eating. Well, you can until you eat it, and then you don't have a planet anymore. Okay, so... Uh, I was going to, I'm not going to put the link on it. I mean, you can read this long, involved piece. We're just going to read about the first third of it. <clears throat> this is uh, by Evan Helper. California's electric car revolution designed to save the planet also unleashes a toll on it. <clears throat> The precious cargo on the ship docked in San Diego Bay was strikingly small for a vessel built to drag oil rigs out to sea, 
<clears throat> machines tethered to this hawking ship had plucked rocks the size of a child's fist from the ocean floor thousands of miles into the Pacific. The mission was delicate and controversial with broad implications for the planet. Investors follow the money, stupid. Investors are betting tens of millions of dollars that these black nodules, these little rocks, these black nodules packed with metals used in electric car batteries are the ticket, are the ticket for the United States to recapture supremacy over the green economy and to keep up with a global transportation revolution started by California. Alongside his docked ship, Gerald Barron, I love that, CEO of the Metals Company, the Metals Company, held in his hand one of the nodules he argues can help save the planet. We have to be bold and we have to look at new frontiers. Climate change is not something that's waiting around for us to figure it out. Close quote. Yes, the urgency with which Barron's company and a handful of others are moving to start scraping the seabed for these materials alarms oceanographers and advocates who warn they, meaning we, are literally in uncharted waters. Much is unknown about life on the deep sea floor and vacuuming swaths of it clean threatens to have unintended and far-reaching consequences. The drama playing out in the deep sea is just one act in a fast unfolding, ethically challenging, and economically complex debate that stretches around the world from the cobalt mines of Congo to the corridors of the Biden White House to fragile desert habitats throughout the West where vast deposits of lithium lay beneath the ground. The state of California is inexorably intertwined in this drama, not just because extraction companies are aggressively surveying the state's landscapes for opportunities to mine and process the materials, but because California is leading the drive toward electric cars. No state has exported more policy innovations than California, a trend accelerating under the Biden administration. The state relishes its role as the nation's think tank, though the course it charts for the country has at times veered in unanticipated directions. This is Douglas McCauley, a marine science professor at UC Santa Barbara, talking about plans to scrape the deep sea floor to save the planet. <clears throat> Quote, the ocean is the place on the planet where we know least about what species exist and how they function. This is like opening a Pandora's box. We're concerned this will not do much good for climate change, but it will do irreversible harm to the ocean, close quote. There you go. This is exactly right. Uh, is the tiny uh, effect this is going to have on climate change worth all of the other sacrifices that it's going to entail. And anybody with a brain knows the answer to this. The sprint to supply 
automakers with heavy duty lithium batteries is propelled by climate conscious countries like the United States that aspire to abandon gas powered cars and SUVs. They are racing to secure the materials needed to go electric and the Biden administration is under pressure to fast track mammoth extraction projects that threaten to unleash their own environmental fallout. In far-flung patches of the ocean floor, at Native American ancestral sites, and on some of the most pristine federal lands, extraction and mining companies are brandishing themselves as stewards of sustainability, warning that the planet will suffer if digging and scraping are delayed. The planet will suffer if digging and scraping are delayed, say the self-described stewards of sustainability, otherwise known as giant multi-billion dollar multinational uh, mining corporations with Joe Biden in their pocket. <clears throat> All this prospecting is giving pause to some of the environmental groups championing climate action as they assess whether the sacrifice needed to curb warming is being shared fairly. This is John Hatter, Executive uh, Director of Great Basin Research Watch, a Nevada group fighting a proposed massive lithium mine. Quote, frontline communities affected by mining are asking the rest of us, what sacrifice are you making? You are asking us to have our community and our environment permanently disrupted. All you are doing is maybe driving a different car. Close quote. <clears throat> yes. California began plotting in 1990 to force car manufacturers to make zero emission vehicles. The cars were so undesired when they began rolling off assembly lines that by the early 2010s they were tagged compliance cars built and sold only to comply with California mandates. Yet California the global trendsetter on cutting tailpipe emissions kept pushing until electric cars became not only functional but stylish. Next year, 500 electric vehicle models will be sold worldwide. Uh, the state's crusade, including a ban on sales of new combustion engine cars and SUVs by 2035, <clears throat> has analysts predicting a surge in demand for the cobalt, lithium, manganese, nickel, and other materials used to build electric car batteries need for these materials could soar by 600% globally over the next two decades, according to the International Energy Agency. And this is what, when I was talking about this uh, very statistic a, a few days ago in a similar rant I was doing, this more than anything tells the story. 600% increase over the next 20 years. In, in order to save the planet, we need to increase mining for this Save the, save the Planet uh, minerals by 600%. Where do you think they're going to be doing it? They're going to be scraping the bottom of the ocean floor. They're going to be doing it in gorilla habitat. They're going to be mining and blasting uh, our public lands.
uh, uh, Joe Biden, uh, his attacks on our public lands for this crap is, is going to leave Donald Trump's attacks on the public, on our public lands, uh, in the dust. Joe Biden uh, is out trumping Donald Trump. <clears throat> Electric cars now account for 1.7 million vehicle sales annually worldwide, and that number could soar to 8.5 million in the next four years, Bloomberg New Energy Finance projects. The transformation is happening quickest in Europe and China. Uh, California aims to hit similar numbers even as the rest of the U.S. moves more slowly. The success of electric cars is a point of pride for not just California, but the Biden administration, which is trying to meet the commitments uh, the Paris Climate Accord. Yeah, right, which of course is a whole nother joke. Because even if we do meet the commitments of the Paris Climate uh, Accord by declaring war on this planet to meet those goals, the, the goals of the Paris Climate, goal, if we meet them, they are an absolute total joke. Everywhere you look is a sick, twisted joke and the planet is the butt of it. <clears throat> yes, but it is it, meaning the su success of electric cars is also a point of panic. The administration warns the transition threatens to leave the nation vulnerable to the whims of country that control supply chains, you know, na mainly China. President Biden, therefore, in June, ordered the Departments of Energy and the Interior to help the mining industry bolster mining and processing of battery materials, you know, by uh, attacking our public lands to save the planet. Uh, China controls most of the market for the raw material refining needed for the batteries and dominates component manufacturing. Industry analysts warn the monopolization presents not only an economic risk but a national security one. So the cost of finding new sources for raw materials and loosening China's grip on the supply chain is large. That much is clear in Thacker Pass. A wind sweat, then they go into, uh, and I'm, I'm just going to break it off here uh, at this giant lithium mine uh, out there in Nevada. And anyway, guys, you can uh, take it from here. Uh, and as the Los Angeles Times sounding more and more like Derek Jensen blowing the whistle on these bright green lies. It is a big fat lie. Electric cars, uh, wind turbines, solar panels, the whole bit. It is one big, fat, greenwashing lie to convince clueless morons that they're doing a damn thing to save this planet by switching one assault against the planet to another assault against the planet. Anyway, I think I'm sounding like a broken record. So we're going to wrap this up and come back and we're going to hear uh, from uh, a scientist talking about melting glaciers, quote, I have gone from being an ecologist 
to a coroner. But you'll have to, we'll make a second chronicle of the collapse out of that coming up in just one minute. I uh, highly suggest you get out there and enjoy your public lands while you still can. Bye, guys. No, we have a whole nother chronicle of the collapse. It's not going to be that long. We're just going to read an essay by this nice scientist who's gone from becoming an ecologist to a coroner. Bye, guys.